Today we talk about a man who snuck into his neighbor's garage and stole underwear. Twice. This is People Am Stupid. <laughs> Hello, my name is Andrew Parker, a.k.a. Abraka Andrew, a.k.a. Aguafello, a.k.a. Spider-Man, and welcome to People Am Stupid, the show where I talk about stupid people doing stupid things. As always, I'm going to start by announcing the winner of the stupid competition from last week. Last week, we had the 8th grade meth teacher, the pork chop assaulter, and the naked upside down man. With a vote of 11 to 1 to 3, the 8th grade meth teacher is the winner. Congrats on being stupid. Now back to this week's episode. Our first story is about a Colorado man who claims he's the rightful king of England and he took out an ad in the London Times to announce he plans to fly over and seize power. People am stupid, man. And creative. People am stupid and creative. So this United States dude took out an advertisement in the London Times and said that in 30 days time, he will fly over and seize all of his land. His name is Alan V. Evans. He's from Wheat Ridge, Colorado, and he claims to be the descendant of Cuneta Wledding. Wledding. Wledding who apparently is the founder of Wales, which is why maybe I couldn't pronounce his freaking name. I don't know, I feel like this Evans guy saw a commercial for Ancestry.com or something and immediately looked up his name and found out that his great, 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 great uncle, third removed, was like a duke of a small province in medieval times, and he took that to mean that he could automatically claim ownership of all of England in the 21st century. Okay, so I haven't shown you this guy's picture yet because I find it to be one of the funniest things Ever. Okay, so the man you're about to see claims to be legitimate royalty and says he should be the king of England. Here we go. Guys, <laughs> look at him. Look at him. I don't know, I just think it's funny. If I were to think of what the exact opposite of what a king should look like, it would be exactly this dude. He looks like a mix between a blubberfish and a really hairy, fat wombat. He looks like Donald Trump's even uglier cousin. He looks like a male human version of Roz from Monsters, Inc. I'm gonna be king of England, Wazowski. Always watching. <laughs> but despite this guy's appearance, he's extremely serious about this. His ad in the London Times is very official and it sounds like a lawyer wrote it. Quote, hereby gives legal notice to all his relatives, Welshmen, Scots, Manx, and all Britons, and any and all interested parties and persons, that in 30 days time, that the said Alan V. Evans shall claim his royal estate. I just wonder what Queen Elizabeth thinks about all this. <laughs> I feel like this is her on a normal day. And then this is her when someone threatens to take away her throne. And he also claims that he wants to make Britain great again. See? I told you he was Donald Trump's uglier cousin. But there's one more thing I want to say about this story, and that is... This isn't the first time this dude has done this. Back in 2012, he claimed 400 acres of land in Twiggs County, Georgia. He said that his ancestors used to live there, but he had no evidence to back his claims. He said the documents that proved his ancestors lived there burned in a fire back in 1901. This guy is insane, and apparently this is his hobby. I've heard of weird hobbies, but claiming rightful ownership of random pieces of land based on ancestry is a new one. Our next story is about a group of adults, I repeat, a group of adults that got into a fight, a legitimate brawl, at a Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, uh, people am stupid. People am adults. Adults am stupid, in this case. A woman named Sharon Cabrera was present at the time of the fight, and she said that it was over tickets. Tickets, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the things that you win for playing the children's games and will get you like a spin top toy and a Tootsie Roll. Yeah, that's what five-year-olds fight over people. But thankfully, Sharon recorded the fight on her phone. So let's watch. <laughs> Wow, that seems, <laughs> that actually seems pretty brutal, but you can't hear anything specific except for that one kid just scream, what the heck is going on? What the heck is going on? 
but maybe I can make it even more entertaining with some editing. Do you know who I am? I want a Tootsie Roll! Ma'am, come over here and I will give you a bouncy ball if you just calm down. Apparently there was another fight that happened on a different day and it resulted in a 51 year old woman with a bloody face. She said she left with bald patches in her hair and someone almost gouged out her eyes. What is going on? She said she was there to spend time with her family and she was not drinking at the time. The article says the restaurant does serve beer, but two is the limit. Wait a minute, they serve beer? Chuck E. Cheese serves beer? Wow. Also, is Chuck E. Cheese a restaurant? Is that how it's classified? I don't know about you, but I don't go there for the greasy pizza. I go there for the basketball game. I'm a boss at that. And if these parents are seriously fighting like this after only two beers, they should be totally ashamed of themselves. I mean, they should be totally ashamed of themselves anyways, but... Next story. And our last story is about a Jacksonville man who got arrested after repeatedly stealing underwear from his neighbor's garage. People am stupid, man. <laughs> Before I go any further, if you notice, I said Jacksonville, and that's right, that's in Florida, so that triggers a Florida flag. A segment where we discuss the insanity and stupidity of Florida and its residents. So this woman saw surveillance video showing 56-year-old Nicholas Rojas entering her garage and stealing her underwear. And just seeing this guy's picture, I mean, look at it. If someone asked me what his crime was and I didn't even know, I'd just be like, oh, he broke into a garage and stole some underwear. The woman told officers that she confronted him the third time she saw him in the garage. I repeat, third time. That means this guy was making a habit of doing this. My first question regards the victim, not the criminal doofus. As I mentioned on last week's highly acclaimed Pulitzer Prize winning program, I make gargantuan sacrifices of my time and energy for this show and for you, my beloved viewers. In addition to that, I've met and gotten to know a good amount of people via my own endeavors. Not once have I read or heard from any human being on this planet that kept their underwear in the garage. What, you, you, you get out of the shower and then head to the car part of your house to get changed? What in the world? She allowed this guy to come into her garage and take her underwear twice and did nothing. Confront man? No. Tell husband? No. Call police? Nah. And why did this guy keep coming back? Why not steal all the used women's undergarments that you need for whatever please don't tell me I have to sleep at night reasons? Just do it all at once. Take the whole drawer. Quit coming back over and over again. Why would you do that? Are you stupid? Apparently. Welcome to the show. But when she confronted him in that conversation, he admitted to stealing her underwear. He admitted to the thievery but he said he wouldn't give them back. Was this really a question the woman was asking? She, she wanted those back? No amount of Tide, bleach, or cleaning agent of any kind could ever make me put those back on my body. I wouldn't ever, 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 ever touch those again. In addition to the physical gross out factor, I wouldn't be able to make it through the day. My mind would constantly be going, Ew, what are you doing? Get those off of your body right now. Anywho, that is it for this week. Thank you for watching. Which of these stories did you think was stupidest? Was it the Colorado man who claims to be the rightful king of England, the Chuck E. Cheese brawl, or the underwear thief? Comment down below and tell me and or click or tap the icon in the top right. There you can vote for which one you thought was stupidest. But until next time, don't be stupid.